श्रीधर सिंह ने ये दी नमस्ते नमस्ते भाई इंट्रोड्यूस यू क्विकली देन वी कैन स्टार्ट शेयरिंग सो श्रीधर सिंह जी इज वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट अन्ना यूनिवर्सिटी तमिलनाडु सी हैज डन आर यू हैज बीन इंट्रोडक्टरी वर्कशॉप इन ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री uh then later on she is also a part of volunteering activity like uh, she has played the role of observer in couple of uh, ai city funded workshops also you know, she is taking initiative for uh, preparing herself to deliver the content like she is uh, taking demo sessions and also interacting with their faculty members in their college So, with this brief introduction, I may invite uh, Sridhar Sridhar to continue uh, sharing on the pointers on in the screen. Thank you. Thank you. Over to you. Good morning, co-explorers. As Baya was mentioning out, I am Sridhar Sridhar, working as assistant professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, Anna University. I did my UHV one during August twenty twenty three, and uh, I I like the concept, the proposals. So I did UHV two during December twenty twenty three. Afterwards, I was involved in couple of the volunteering activities in the southern region. So I got a chance to do my UHV three during May twenty twenty four. which was then in sra so i have joined the morning session from the eighth batch where i was not consistent in attending the session and i was trying to be regular from the ninth batch so this is the second time that i am going to share my reflection in the morning session so to go on with the understanding that i get out of exercise 1 and 2 um when we go on with the exercise 1 so i am trying to be aware of the imagination i have i am trying to be aware of the feeling that i have at the moment but i can see that it's not a continuous thing i was not able to do it continuously but when compared to the last batch the time duration for which i am able to do this has improved and when i check with the step number 2 to see whether i have a feeling that is naturally acceptable to me even here i can say it's not whenever i check my feeling it's not that i am always have this naturally acceptable feeling of relationship or happiness but still i can see an improvement in the feeling that i have and i can see that if i check my imagination or feeling for 10 times out of which i can say for about 8 times i was able to ensure that i have a naturally acceptable feeling within me this is not a state before so generally when i was doing the exercise in batch 9 i can say about 50% of the time i will be not in the state i will not be in harmony with them and as of now i can see that i was able to have a harmonious feeling in me for about 80% of the time almost most of the time whenever i check my imagination and i can also see whatever happens whatever may be the behavior of others it is me who is deciding the feeling at the moment i 
and this decision of having a particular feeling yes it depends on the assumption i have at times the assumption i have about someone the assumption i have or the preconditioning that i have so all this also plays a role when i decide what type of feeling that i have at a particular moment and i was also working to make my decision to be based on the right understanding it's taking time for me at times i was feeling a uh, very guilt and i was being little harsh on myself because i was not able to get this feeling of harmony within me continuously for every moment uh, before some 3 to 4 months i i was trying to ensure that i should be having the feeling of happiness i should have the feeling of relationship always and i was little little bit upset over that as i was not able to ensure this for every moment i check within me so now i can i got an understanding that it is a natural process it takes some time so i have to do this process of observation continuously and the whole lot of accumulation i have as my sanskars all those things has to be purified so i was quite okay with the process and with the delay so at times all i can also see whenever i am in disharmony all the thoughts and imagination within me is completely disorganized and whenever i encounter such kind of imagination in me i try to align it towards the natural acceptance thereby i can ensure harmony within myself i do remember couple of things which i have shared in the last morning session i have stated that during the uh, ninth batch that i get awareness about my feeling only after i react to it so whenever i get a scenario outside i tend to react and then i sense this awareness inside me that i don't have a feeling which is naturally acceptable to me and as of now i can see that i am able to get this awareness a little bit early whenever i have certain situation or behavior which is happening so i can see that i am able to observe this feeling whether i am having a feeling which is naturally acceptable or not and i was able to do it and then i try to respond to the behavior or the situation outside this is one which i have noted and also when i try to make my feelings in line with natural acceptance i i can state some more uh, things like before when i when my kids i have we have two kids the elder one is uh, doing her sixth grade and the younger one is in grade one so when they do any naughty things or when they fight with themselves i used to shout at them and then i will feel bad for it that i should not have done it and i will i will see how can i align the feeling towards them how can i have a feeling of relationship with them this takes some time 
after i react i take some time to ensure myself that i am having a feeling of relationship with them the same thing has happened with uh, one of the worker in our apartment so uh, he he used some harsh words towards me so i was not able to ensure a feeling of relationship with him and it took me about 4 to 5 months to talk with him again i was hesitant to see him and to talk with him whenever he comes uh i will just try to move away or i will put my head down and i will walk out but few months before say 2 to 3 months before one of my colleague at my workplace uh she just gave a a comment about me that i am very egoistic and i want others to respect me irrespective of their designation and role and she mentioned this in a common forum where all our department staffs are a member so i was checking my feeling towards her when these things happened yes of course i am not comfortable with these kind of things but still i can see that i was not disturbed much and i was able to see that i can make up this feeling of relationship with her within some a span of 1 to 2 months it doesn't take much more time and i can't say that i am very much comfortable with her whatever has happened so i can see this shift in me where to make myself align with natural acceptance i can see less duration this happens in less duration when compared to some 4 to 5 months before so even at home i can observe that if we do have misunderstanding or uh, we have a different opinion for a for a situation or a scenario but as ikram ji is also into this uhp content even though we have difference in opinion there is hardly any fight between us this was not the case before uhp and the same thing happens with our elder daughter also whatever we fight for some small things all those things has reduce whereas we can understand that we have difference of opinion and we try to come to a common conclusion so this is how i see myself in doing exercise 1 where i'm trying to observe my imagination every moment but it's not happening right now but i'm trying to increase the duration of my observation going on with exercise 2 in the last batch i didn't do it properly but this time i try to be regular enough to move on with the exercise 2 so the first step yes i can see that i am a coexistence of self and body and i transact with the body or with the outside world and i send information as what has to be done whenever needed and whenever i decide to do it and i was checking on with this fourth step to see whether i'm in the sensation or i am something different from the sensation so couple of times i have done it where whenever i feel a kind of itching sensation 
in my hands or legs i try to just see it for how long it's been there and if i'm not going to do anything if i'm not going to instruct my body to do anything how that's going to be how long will i get this sensation and i can see it, it remained there for say some one to two minute and i was simply observing it and after that it went so i can see that i am the one who is deciding to read which sensation i want to respond to and to instruct my body when i need to respond and i can also see that when something happens and if i decide to react or if i decide based on the assumption i have on the other i generally react yesterday there was an incident where i and my daughter was sitting and my husband came and there was a very small or narrow path so he moved on that place and he got slipped his leg got slipped but he remained stable so generally i used to have a opinion on him that he is little careless he is not as careful as me so this is what i have in my mind for say the time we got married so immediately i tend to raise my voice and i told him why don't you come by that way you are sitting here why is that you are taking this path which is very narrow and if you are going to fall down fall down what will happen so i can see i be self took the decision to convey this that we should have came by that path but still based on the assumption or the sanskars i have based on the preconditioning i have on him that he is not as careful as me i just reacted in that way and i can also understand that it would have been better if i could have responded him based on understanding that it happens we do tend to uh, be little careless at times so i can see these steps but coming to the seventh step yes i can see that i am in space the body is also in space but i feel i need much more clarity and time to see this coexistence in space in a much better way so these are the things i i have i think i have got a little understanding of exercise 1 and 2 and i should be consistent enough and put on some more efforts to do it continuously and as yes, happiness is my innate nature and it's not the effect from outside i can see this but i can also see that i do tend to get this happiness from outside it's not that i'm completely uh into a state where i get i completely rely on my innate nature of happiness and 
coming to my commitment this is a continuous process where i want to have the right understanding and right feeling as of now yes uh, i'm i want to do this morning exercise continuously that is one and trying to being a faculty who is handling your hp2 i try to go through the content at least for an hour every day so which i feel it may help me to develop right understanding and feeling in a much better way and as coming to the social responsibility i am trying to be a volunteer in different activities of the team so i'll be continuing that and with this uh, i will stop my sharing and now our daughter will be giving out her sharing uh, i'm prasita i'm studying in grade 6 at uh, the sri chaitanya tech school in chennai i was introduced to us sri baba mother when she joined this college for one year uh to be frank she used to join a meeting but not listen to it she used to listen only when she was free i used to ask her why she wasted the body in paying it for the course when she is not listening to it she told me that it was free of cost and soon she got uh, addicted to it i asked her what it was about and then i got her to about which we as uh, bob got addicted to which I met Sharmila Aunty at Rajiv Gandhi at SR College. I spoke with Sharmila Aunty and got some tips on my school issues and my brother's trouble. I uh, think that UHV and morning sessions is great, but I haven't tried anything yet. I feel that I have stopped shouting, but I don't know what I can do for my brother's trouble. Uh, I ignored a lot of troubles in my school, but trouble comes always from my friends. Even one day in my school, they held a drawing competition, and the topic was freedom fighters. I totally forgot about it. My friend Yashka was sitting next to me. She took a printout, then she coloured it. She helped me draw it and colour it. The result came, and I got the first prize. I went to my place. Yashka was sitting there, looking at the window. I thanked her as she helped me in drawing. I thought she was angry as she was scowling at me. I will tell that I feel sorry for you as your coloring was better than me. You could have uh, got the first prize, but just because of printer you didn't get. Another classmate of us, Ashita, came looking for me and asked what we were talking with her. I first told her nothing, but since she started irritating me, I told her what I spoke with Ashita. After that, I went first to explain. When I entered the class, Ashita was. Very much angry on me than the first time. I asked her what it was, but she didn't utter a word. Later on, she came to me and told that, "Why did you even tell me like this? I regret helping you now." Then I asked her to explain fully and clearly, and she replied that Ashita told her that Nandita said that Yashka was an idiot and a fool, and only because of that, I won. She made me win, and. Have uh yeah, told this to uh, my class friend also. Class teacher, this happened. A similar incident have also happened before two months. Because of U H V and the suggestions from Sharmila Aunty, I thought whoever uh think whatever about us, I know about me and that's enough. So they will love what I am. Who I am, and I didn't fight with Ashita for what she said about me. Still, I'd be friendly with her without shouting at her. Now, even if my friends tell some wrong things about me, I don't care because I know that I only I need to know about. Me. Thank you. Thank you, uh, and it was very better. So, uh, I think we will be listening. Yeah. 
thank you sidarshini ji so i think we will continue with vikram ji then we will be taking the comments over here yes sir sure, sidarshini ji vikram ji is available yes ji namaste yeah. namaste namaste to flow so, uh, for let me share quickly yeah yeah so vikram bhai is a project manager in kp technology basically software firm uh, he has done his usb introductory workshop during march 2024 and also taking part in video editing volunteering activity so with this very brief introduction i mean by vikram bhai to continue ji bhai over to you thank you bhai good morning to all the co explorers uh, i'll start with uh, what is my understanding on uh, exercise 1 and 2 prior to uhv uhv was introduced to me by shri darshni ji ji uh, in uh, ji uh, in the year uh, uh, from the morning session uhv i started the other way uh, i started joining uhv uh, morning sessions uh, first then i did my uh, uhv 1 and 2 the first understanding when i started with the exercise although i felt it effective but then this uhv 1 and 2 helped me to understand uh, the the importance of this exercise 1 and 2 um so what am i able to do uh, with exercise 1 and 2 are that i am able to observe my state of imaginations Uh, which uh, helps me helps me in being in continuous happiness i i also have a, a feeling of relationship and i am able to evaluate my uh, assumptions and sanskar as well as my sensations this is where uh, the the exercise one predominantly helps me in doing it i see that i have a great morning sessions until i start to work the observation of my imaginations happens to me a uh, little naturally but then uh, during my during the day of work i feel that i'm i'm just running behind a routine uh, way of work and my uh, thoughts are disorganized when i say uh, what is the steps uh, which level of um, exercise one that i i am able to observe myself i am able to see where about step 4 5 where i could um, have during the morning session i am able to see the 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 feeling that is natu- whether it is naturally acceptable um, that's something that i am able to uh, monitor it and uh, it is guided by my feelings are guided by the natural acceptance and it gives me a lot of harmony and i am I, i'm not looking for outside for uh, the happiness and even there are uh, the mornings where i have to help my uh, shri dashni dd the g to take care of kids to get them ready for the school it's a busy morning for both of us since we we work uh, but still uh, it it looks like we are now little more organized little more uh, we know uh, how the morning session should go so we, we i see that this has a big uh, help in in knowing this exercise one uh, in a in a short schedule getting both the kids to school and in the right mindset to send them to school this is uh, something that we have learned from this exercise one because we we are able to see that every day my assumption just doesn't fall on her and uh, on, on the kids or we don't enforce something uh, that how they should behave pre- pre- previously when we had uh, the the uh, getting this, them ready for the school was a big task the the morning was always uh, with uh, with would start for us both of us little tense because they have to be on school to be in, in the right time and both of us leaving but then uh, this uh, we are in harmony now that uh, yes there, there may be a day where we don't go uh, by the way we want to but still we we are able to understand uh, the kids 
we are able to understand ourselves uh, with with the feeling of relationship and uh, we behave we also express our uh, harmony to outside us as well and uh, i would say that i am able to see the origin of my feelings now where um, which i am able to look for whether my state of imagination is right i am able to evaluate with natural acceptance but it doesn't mean that i don't have a portion i i am not i am not expressing my opposition outside but i still feel that i am expressing it through my body languages my uh, way i communicate with others still i don't see that i am i am on to it where i i can say that i am completely in harmony but still i am i am in this process that i am able to organize my uh, imagination when i look back in step uh, five and um, six where i am able to when i react something then i look back and say that do it did was the external factor influence me in uh, taking the decision the feeling i had that moment so i am able to relate with exercise one maybe not prior to my feeling but then after i felt something then i am able to relate it and see what is happening around and um, as i said uh, at at work i am i am not able to uh, see through all uh, the self observation every moment but then when i am at um, home and in a conductive environment this uh, process of observing self by self is uh, coming much much easier compared to when uh, i am outside where i work with uh, different colleagues and uh, there i see that my assumptions and my sanskar uh, i i make decisions based on my assumptions and sanskar so i have to evolve um, during the day this is what um, i uh, i would say and um, about exercise two i could see that i always associated myself uh, being a foodie mm, i lot of sensation to food so i had my notion that my body my sensory systems makes the observation and help me to make decisions evaluate my judgment and uh, reassure my assumption so the thought process that i i used my sensory system was the way i want to see the world outside so those were the uh, ways that i would pick my sensory organs to behave and those always help me to uh, make a decision in a, in a biased way so even at work even at my work um, at home i would find a scenario where uh, if if i if i have to find uh, i have a feeling of a portion for my daughter and she she does something i will just pick those scenarios and put forward to her rather than seeing the whole picture of or the story of how it should be so that's uh, something i i have been doing before before introduced to exercise 2 now um, I, i i could see that myself and body uh, are coexistence and uh, it's not my body that uh, whatever i see the self is uh, informing the body to do it uh, so i am cautious in my foods now uh, it is to nurture my body so i have this uh, feeling now that i don't attach myself to the sensation of uh, the food by itself I, previous previously all the foods had a lot of um, feeling to it now i could understand that uh, the food is to nurture my body and i, I also get this sens- sensations at times but it is more towards to fulfill the sensation and not more than that so this feeling that i had with the food has been dissociated not completely but i can say that i have overcome it to 80% of what i had in the past when i say that i was a foodie now i don't 
recognize myself as a foodie now, but I can move away from that. And um, while I'm aware of my imaginations, I'm able to give uh, instruction to my body. And I also had that uh, pre-notions and uh, assumptions that my body needs or my kids need to sleep at certain time and they need certain, this was all decided by myself in the past, not only for me, I, I do it uh, for my kids as well. Now I could see that, no, uh, it's their body and their self knows when to take uh, uh, instructions to the body, uh, similar to mine. So such a notion that myself can give instruction to my body and not my body says that I need to do something. So this uh, has changed now. And when I'm, whenever I'm aware of my imagination, I'm able to give instruction to my body and my sensations are not associated to the feeling I'm able to see. So I am able to relate myself uh, that I'm able to read my sensations and I also have uh, that I'm not the sensation. Uh, I'm part of the body. Uh, the the body uh, sensation uh, difference between self and body. I do see happiness as uh, innate nature. I do. But then uh, there are times that I get affected from outside as well. Whenever my uh, imaginations are disorganized, then uh, I'm, I'm not giving my uh, observation on self. Then uh, I, I depend on uh, the sensation from outside. Yeah, this is, uh, I, I could see until level four in exercise two. Uh, that is what um, I, I have been able to observe in myself. And what is that I will have for uh, my program uh, to make for my continuous happiness. I see that um, this, yeah, uh, I can see that the program that I will have uh, this that this morning sessions uh, when we are uh, as I said I have a uh, very good morning sessions after this uh, UHV sessions and the observation we make uh, every day when I'm in, in the state of uh, observing my imaginations uh, this I want to do during the day and make it part of it. And uh, this UHV 9 was somewhere I could understand the complete exercise, what is there. Um, and now I'll start uh, more um, rigorously taking up with, with the spot checks with uh, uh, UHV 10 that I'll, I'll start uh, practicing them uh, more with this yeah that is all and uh, my commitments uh, are that i'll keep supporting uh, in uh, video editing and uh, in other areas where uh, my participation can uh, with the other uhv sessions that i will be part of yeah thank you Bea. can go to commenters uh, for taking the comments so gopal Bea, namaste welcome can you have uh, your comments please so it is nice to hear a family sharing again. And as I shared yesterday also that now we are moving from family to world family order. And family is a place where we observe each other very closely. And we cannot hide our state of being from each other. So in that sense, it is a practical lab where we can take feedback of our growth, where we can give feedback of others' growth. So this can happen in family you know, if family is living with a common goal. So as I heard this sharing, so all family members are living with a common goal. So goal is to achieve a fulfilling life. So in that sense, it is good that at least we have a common goal. And now, as a process, we have to help each other, right? 
because we are living together so many times it may happen that our perceptions are different but if we are able to see feelings in ourselves if we are able to sustain feeling in myself then this differences will be resolved so we can see all this thing very practically for example i have a feeling of trust and you know, husband have a feeling of trust daughter has a feeling of trust now we can help each other to ensure this feeling by giving a proper feedback so once i am able to see feelings of relationship in others and other is able to see feeling of relationship like trust respect in me it will ensure justice so justice outcome of justice is mutual fulfillment and it can happen when i am able to see feelings in other family members in me also so in this way we can ensure justice in a family and this expansion of justice from family to world family will ensure a human society where people will be living as a undivided society so uh, this step has started uh, as many family sharings are coming so i can say that we are moving in the right direction and this process is a long process we have to work on it and it become easy if we work on it combinedly and family is a right platform uh, for all these experiment so best wishes didi bhaiya and the daughter also keep it up and definitely uh, you will be a source of uh, justice you will be an example where we can say that we have a few families where justice is being practiced so thank you bhaiya thank you didi keep it up in best wishes from my side thank you bhaiya thank you bhaiya thank you nupal bhaiya thank you so much for having your comments now we can listen from sanjana ji sanjana ji namaste welcome namaste everyone namaste shri darshini ji vikram ji tanvita very nice nice to hear your family sharing today uh, if i start with shri darshini ji i think you know uh, lot of contemplation or lot of churning is happening within and i can see the growth from the last morning session till now and how many a times earlier the reactions outside perhaps were more and you were able to notice that after the event but now many a times you are you mentioned that you are able to observe the irritation before the reaction outside so the reaction may still be happening inside but the outside at least it has come down and that is the natural process and so slowly when you are you know observing the reaction inside also like you mentioned you go through this process of evaluating the feeling of trust and uh, observing coming in line with your natural acceptance so i think uh, you know this process that started some time back in a short span of time you are paying attention towards what is happening inside a lot more than before and it is helping you in becoming more and more at ease so we will be able to see that whenever we are observing we can see this right but there may also be many a time that we are not observing there may be subtle feelings sometimes we say you know 
we are not in such a good mood, but we don't know why. So you can check what was the thought, what was the feeling, and why. And so slowly you are able to observe more and more. So in this, you know, a couple of things that might help are, since you are all doing as a family this process, if you all can take time out, maybe 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes in a day, when all of you can just sit quietly and observe whatever is happening within you and then share and discuss. I think that you might find very rewarding, very fulfilling because it helps to discuss these, whatever you are feeling, whatever you are thinking um, and talking to your family members about it. That was one thing. The other thing which uh, what even Vikramji mentioned, that when you're busy in, a, in your workplace or during the day, you tend to, uh, it slips or we are not aware as much. So you can put some sort of reminder for yourself. Initially, it may be a reminder outside, but as you keep going in the process, that reminder becomes from internally that motivation to be at ease. So uh, that can be done. And I think uh, those are some things that you could try out. But I think a very good progress. If I look at um, Vikramji and Tanvita, I think again here uh, for Vikramji, I would say that uh, it was uh, very refreshing. The last time we talked, I think you had not yet undergone the workshops, but with that and your further um, you know, observation of yourself, things have improved a whole lot, I think. And um, you spoke about enjoying the sensation of food. You can still, you know, there is nothing wrong with enjoying the sensation of the food or whatever sensation, as long as our happiness is not dependent on it. So being happy, we can certainly enjoy the taste of good food and so on. So, But we can discuss that another time. For Tanvita, I would say, uh, very nice, Bita, to hear that you have been able to overcome some of the irritation inside. Now, I think you can start looking at how, just like how you feel unhappy, when you are irritated, perhaps the other also becomes unhappy when they do that and start thinking about how you can help the other person to also become calm, especially when it comes to your brother or your friends at school. But very good progress, very nice family sharing. All the very best to all three of you. We look forward to your participation in the the morning sessions also. Best wishes. Thank you. We will look into these points and we will make sure that we are consistent in the forthcoming morning sessions also. Really. And then Vida has promised that she will try to join the morning session. <laughs> Very nice. Very good. Thank you. Uh, uh, um, Sri Sini Ji, Vikram Ji, and Tanvita, and Aniruddha is yeah. he, she's there. Aniruddha is sleeping, Baya. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so very nice. Thank you, Baya. Thank you so much. Best wishes. Tanvita, especially best wishes to you, Bita. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay.